how long have you been riding motorcycles? That's a good, that's a good question. I'm going to say I probably, probably have been riding full-size motorcycles for about 17 years, you know, but before that it was just scooters. Yeah. And I have a funny story about it because Michael Jordan, um, after he retired, he started, he was riding motorcycles a lot and, and I, he, he, I'd always come in the room and he's like, so how's your little, how's your little motor scooter? How, how you doing on your little scooter? You, you're not a big, not a big, where, where's your big boy pants? You just need to ride real motorcycles. And, and, I, and my wife is, does not like motorcycles, but, um, but I, I kind of, I, in a way, was sort of shamed into uh, stepping up and starting to ride, which I really have, have really enjoyed. Uh, but it was, it was kind of like, uh, 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 I knew I was gonna get, get, the, get razzed by MJ every time. <laughs> nice. What are some of the similarities you see when you look at, you know, kind of transportation design, motorcycle design, car design, and then sneaker design? Oh yeah, well, it's a great question to talk about, you know, design influence from one, you know, industry or one product type to another. And it's, a, it's quite common for, uh, to, for uh, a designer like myself to, to be inspired by a car or a motorcycle. And I look at those magazines a lot and, uh, you know, try and pay attention to the latest stuff. And then, of course, there's a huge custom scene here in Portland. Um, everybody, I mean, if you're really actually cool, you have, uh, you, you take a Honda CB and you customize it or uh, whatever. But, um, so I, I'm trying to pay attention to all of that. And, and uh, if you sort of add that back into, you know, cool cars and in, uh, you, know, you can be inspired by the lines, by the, by even the composition. And uh, I, I think more than once uh, I've referenced, um, you know, motorcycles and or cars uh, in the design of my shoes. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. When you're out riding motorcycles now, is it very therapeutic? Is it like a time where you can kind of turn off the work and, and all of those things? And is it kind of like a, a Zen type of thing? Or how do you, how do you, how would you describe when you're out riding motorcycles? It is a way to block out work and you know, other issues that might uh, kind of be present uh, or omnipresent in your mind. Um, because really uh, getting on a motorcycle is, um, it requires a lot of attention, you know, and some skill and, and uh, so for me, I get on and I try to just wipe everything clean and, uh, and concentrate on being a, a good rider, a safe rider. Uh, and um, and also I try try to always think about improving my skills every time every time I go out and so and and I think that's good because you definitely have to just like leave everything else alone in your head focus nice and what about um, all of the music what yeah. what what kind of outlet is that for you and yeah. what, what types of things uh, do you play all these instruments what do you do. Well, I, I, I've, I'm learning some extra instruments. I'm primarily these days a key keyboardist. Um, not a very good one, I might add. Um, but, but, I, but I do feel like it's, um, it's fun, again, to, uh, to pursue new uh, activities and uh, kind of force your brain to sort of relearn or, or learn new things. And uh, music is great because it's part uh, create, creative and it's part sort of mathematics. In talking about, you know, Back to the Future and, you know, working on the Jordan line through those iconic years and things like that, um, I mean, do you ever think and kind of look back and reflect how, how so many things came together? I mean, even, you know, the work on the cross trainers and the Air Max Ones and things like that, it's like, there were so many times where you seem to be in the perfect place at the perfect time. Uh, but, and I mean, obviously a lot of that is hard work and a lot of that is talent. Do you, how much do you kind of think about that and reconcile that and how much do you, I mean, you just, maybe you, maybe you don't look back and, and think about it that way because you're always focused on the next thing. I think you're touching on something that's very real. Um, you know, uh, timing is, is everything. And, uh, you know, had I not been uh, paired up with Michael Jordan, uh, things might have been different. Um, or maybe I would have ended up being paired with someone else. That, so, but but the reality is, you know, timing is is, uh, and and circumstances um, are uh, always, you know, important parts of uh, the success profile for almost anyone. 
Uh, I, have to, I do though uh, sometimes uh, hear, wow, you're so lucky that you got to do Eric Jordan's. Um, and um, I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's true. It's really fortunate that I got that, got to, you know, work with him. But, uh, but I also remember um, taking full advantage and being very aggressive about what, uh, how, how to leverage such a special person into really nice design work that other people would really, you know, kind of dig. So, uh, so I guess there's, there's this, always this uh, kind of uh, combo of things that has to sort of work, uh, kind of line up. Yeah, and maximizing the opportunity. I think that's, that's where some people like uh, that, um, like, oh, he's, that person is so lucky they got to do that. Or um, I think they sort of uh, naturally overlook the fact that uh, even if your timing is right, you still might screw up. It still might not, things still might not be you know what the way it, you know, turn out the way you want it so you have to work super hard and you have to again maximize um, everything around you that's I think that's kind of what I think what all um, people uh, you know successful people do is they they leverage and maximize their opportunities um, and uh, and sometimes special things happen nice I like that You know, you, you don't uh, show any signs of slowing down. Um, do you think that you'll be, I mean, obviously you, you know, you can kind of write your own ticket at this point. Do you think that you will be still doing some type of design, um, you know, another 20 years from now? That's a great, uh, that's a great question because, you know, you know, pe people wear out or, or maybe they run into um, writer's block or design, you know, creative, you know, sort of, you know, blockades. Um, and and uh, I, I think about this all the time. I'm actually um, almost in, a, in a, uh, a period of time where I'm actually more creative than ever before. And I, and I don't know how to, how to make sense of that because really by, uh, by general uh, kind of pra practice, through general practice, I should be about retirement age, and, and yet I'm like I think I have more ideas than ever, and I and I I believe that this is this is you know it's something that I that I thought up uh, and I pass along, uh, and which is uh, when I sit down to draw or design, um, it's really whatever it is is a culmination of everything that I've seen and done in my life up to that point, so. It might be that age is not the issue. It's it's you, it's continuing to have new experiences, and so, hence, um, the motorcycles, and the surfing, and the music, and the travel, and and uh, and you know trying to still be athletic and and ch be be challenged. You know, I think those things are, you know, not really essentially acting my age. Um, are the, that's the secret. That is the secret. It, it's not a number. It's like, well, what are you doing? And, and where, where, do, where do ideas come from? Well, they come from your experiences and what you observe or what, what you experience and your own insight and then maybe, you know, paying attention to also the insight of others. So uh, I seem to be, to be cranking along, you know, um, and just fine. So I don't know that, uh, that I want to stop. Well, I don't know why I would at this point, and so uh, here I am. <laughs> Just still, uh, I think I have more projects uh, in the works right now than I've ever had in my entire life, and uh, you know this is one reason why you can you can do so much more work through the you know through these digital tools, um, and then get that information to people a lot quicker. And so I actually am doing more work than maybe ever before on the creative on the creative end. Nice. Perfect. I like that. I like that. That's what I was, th you know, that's, that's what it made me think of is the motorcycling, the music, those types of things. Maybe that, maybe that is, that's the key. Uh, I, su I suspect if I just wanted to golf every day, um, I probably would run out of ideas. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs>